Hey you! I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Al's Indigo and I make videos about secular spirituality, writing and journaling prompts, the moon, bullet journal spread, mental health and awareness, and my story. I want to share with you a book review and this is actually a little bit of a witchy book review. I have finally finished The Green Witch and I really, really liked this book. This is by Erin Murphy Hiscock. I loved it. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like this at first. I wasn't sure if it was going to be too woo-woo. You know what I mean? Sometimes things are just, they're just too, too out there for me. I used to really love that stuff. And in the current season of my life, I find myself more grounded in reality and in the natural world around me and how things actually physically affect me in a scientific way and also in an emotional way. I thought that this book was amazing. There were only a few parts that I just kind of glossed over because they got a little too woo-woo-y for me. So if you're looking for a witchy book that is not like, you know, woo-woo-y, <laughs> then check this out. One of the reasons why I really love this book is because when I was reading it, I found myself just underlining everything. I was making so many notes in this book. If you are a hedge witch or a green witch or a kitchen witch or just someone who is looking for DIY natural recipes, this is a book to get along with other regular herbal encyclopedia and herbal medicinal books definitely pick this one up another thing that i really liked about this is it explained the path of the green witch in a more natural reality based way and how you can connect to the land and how you connect to the foods that you're putting in your body and you're growing and consuming and i grew up on a farm so having a connection to nature and to land and to food is really important to me and I'm getting back into the practice of uh, connecting with my food again and it's it's really interesting. I, I haven't delved into the magical associations with things because it just feels a little too woo-woo-y to me but I I do love the folklore around it and like the, the folk traditions of a certain herb representing a certain thing. Which also reminds me of the practical magic quote, the one that starts with uh, always have lavender by your garden gate and thyme and rosemary growing in these other places. I can't remember what the quote is exactly, but I, I really love that one too because it it really is about the practicality of magic and the practicality of spirituality. I definitely resonate with that more. So my spiritual practices are more so grounded in the natural world, how things are physically affecting me, and how they scientifically affect me. And then just the associations part is fun. It's fun to have those little tidbits of information too. So this book is all about being in tune with the earth and nature and everything around you and that really really resonates with me. There's a lot of really great recipes in here. There's uh, self-care recipes like body scrubs and oils and balms and things like that, which is something that I've always been interested in. There's also tea recipes, there's food recipes, and I've had my own apothecary for a while now. I have a collection of herbs that I use to make teas for myself during the winter time especially if we have friends come over and they're like oh I don't feel so good my throat hurts I'm like oh I got something for that depending on their tastes what they like and then also what they're feeling physically I'll be able to put together a collection of herbs to steep in a tea and it really helps soothe them and these teas that I make have ingredients that you can find in the pre-packaged teas uh, from like traditional medicinals or yogi teas. I actually like going to those two brands when I don't have time to make a collection of herbs together for myself or if I'm trying
traveling and I'm not at home with my apothecary and I'm not feeling so good, I know what type of herbs will actually soothe my throat or help with a headache or help with indigestion or menstrual issues. And I'll go look for those ingredients in those teas. And I'll just pick up a box of the tea while I'm traveling. And it really helps me. So this book has recipes like that in it as well. There's also things in here like milk bath and bath bombs, which I'm not necessarily into. I'm more of a shower person. So what I like to do as a replacement for bath bombs is I actually like to make little shower melts that have eucalyptus in them, especially during the winter time if I have a cold or something because eucalyptus will like help clear out your sinuses. I'll make little discs like this big and it will bring up the eucalyptus smell and fill the shower with the steam and everything and it really helps clear out your sinuses. It's also just a really nice self-care practice and is a nice scent to use as well. And I like to use scent a lot in my practices. I'll leave a link down below to a little more in-depth explanation about how I use scent in my practices in the magical and the mundane. So make sure you check those out. There's also some food recipes in here that I haven't tried yet, but I've pretty much starred every single one of them and I can't wait to try them. And there's things in here like flower syrup, drinking vinegars, I can't wait to try those. There's also flower sugars in here and I'm not sure that I'm going to get into that because I have tapered myself off of refined sugars. So I might use those recipes as a sugar scrub base, which will still basically do the same thing. So I highly recommend this book. It's not very woo wooey. It is definitely a more nature-based, grounded book and how you can connect to nature and how you can connect through the land in your kitchen and with the ingredients that you put on your body and that you also put in your body. I highly recommend this book. You should definitely get it if you are anything like me. You can find me over on Instagram at alzanindigo, that's where I am most, or over on the website alzanindigo.com where I share weekly spirituality tips, journaling and writing prompts, little tidbits about the moon and how to move through the lunar phases with your goal setting, mental health and awareness, and my story. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!